welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. You made it. Thank you for watching. Well, let's, uh, let's get to some news. Guys, tomorrow, President Biden and 40 other world leaders are kicking off a big virtual climate summit. Yep, they're meeting virtually because of the pandemic. Uh, otherwise, they would have flown 40 different private jets to a meeting about the climate. <laughs> yep, the guest list includes Vladimir Putin, Bill Gates, Pope Francis, and one very stressed out IT guy. <laughs> Your Holiness, could you uh, try closing the browser and signing back in? <laughs> it's too bad the summit isn't in person. If people were sitting alphabetically, I'd love to hear the small talk between the Pope and Putin. It's like, <laughs> do you watch uh, Shies of the Creek? Dan Levy is the best, I mean. Did you see the episode where Moira is... Oh, they're talking to us. <laughs> That's right, Vladimir Putin agreed to attend. It'll be weird when someone says, very funny torture rack background, Vlad, and he's like, right, joke, of course, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All I know is that it'll be awkward when they start the Zoom and Putin and Biden are the first ones on. <laughs> stop video, stop the... Hi, Joe, how's it going, man? During the summit, Biden is expected to announce that the U.S. will cut greenhouse gas emissions at least in half by 2030. That's good. Yeah, why not? Yep, Biden plans to cut emissions by 2030, at which point it will be President Dwayne Johnson's problem. <laughs> hey, this is big. Remember that European Soccer Super League that was just announced two days ago? Well, listen to this. The proposed European Super League may be over before any teams could even take the field. The league announced it was suspending current plans after the founding clubs backed out of the venture just two days after the initial announcement. Wow. Only two days. I've seen guacamole last longer than that. <laughs> Seriously, the, the, the league crumbled faster than a Nature Valley bar. Wee, oh, hey! <laughs> Yep, the Super League has been knocked out, and unlike most soccer injuries, this one's real. <laughs> now those 12 teams are showing up at their old leagues trying to act like nothing happened. It's like, hey, what's up? Was anyone here watch Shides Creek? <laughs> Dan Levy's fantastic. He's brilliant. Yeah. You see the episode where Moira is... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Some business news. Uh, Netflix stock took a big dive this week after they reported a dramatic slowdown in subscriber growth. It's a tough time for Netflix. Right now, executives are fighting like two people looking for something to watch on Netflix. <laughs> Things are so bad, the CEO of Netflix is like, we either need a new Bridgerton or a new pandemic. <laughs> but Netflix isn't letting the news discourage them. They also announced that they're spending more than $17 billion on content this year. Yeah, they're spending $17 billion for shows that we're just going to listen to while we're on Instagram. Some more business news. I saw that Lululemon is testing a resale program where shoppers sell and buy gently used items. Oh. Oh. Lululemon yoga pants. <laughs> Let me put this in perspective. Wearing a pair of lightly used Lululemon pants is basically like picking up a pack of lightly used Charmin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even know how you'd sell used Lululemons. Anybody who wears them has to cut them off with scissors. <laughs> Um, maybe this will work. I mean, how many times have you seen someone walking out of a hot yoga class and thought, I want those shorts? That, that exact pair. <laughs> uh, well, guys, you're not going to believe this, but the pandemic has had an effect on the sales of Girl Scout cookies. Listen to this. The lack of in-person sales this year has left tons of Thin Mints, Samoas, and other flavors unsold. Troop leaders in Atlanta say they have 700,000 boxes just sitting in a warehouse. Wow. I can't wait for my neighbor's kid to be like, oh, hi, Mr. Fallon, so I can put you down for 15,000 do -si dos <laughs> All I have to say is you know America's broken when there's a surplus of delicious cookies and life-saving vaccines. <laughs> what are we doing? And get this, in June, New York City is getting a three-story, 21,000-square-foot Harry Potter store. Ooh. It's exciting. There's... There, I'd say there's nothing hotter right now than Harry Potter merchandise and indoor shopping. Would you agree? <laughs> It'll be the first time a New Yorker can whip out their wand on the subway without getting pepper sprayed. <laughs> wow. Wait, wow. Hey, hey, put away your Harry Potter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm glad it's in New York City. I mean, what, what's better than hearing, welcome to the wizarding world, the Harry Potter. 
Yep, the story is based on the previously unreleased book, Harry Potter and the Bunch of Stuff You Don't Need. <laughs> Honey, let's stop in here. Do we, do we need a wand? All right, you answered pretty quick there. <laughs> well, there have been a lot of incredible strides made in science over the past year, but here's an invention you probably weren't expecting. Watch this. Engineers at Purdue University have created the widest paint ever. They say the paint is so white that coating a building with it could cool them off enough to reduce the need for air conditioning. Yeah. Yeah, the scientists uh, work at the distinguished University of Benjamin Moore. <laughs> Can we see that paint color again? Yeah, looks like a photo from the Pillsbury Doughboy's colonoscopy. <laughs> And finally, a Turkish musician was scared to go paragliding for the first time, so he decided to bring something along to distract himself. Check it out. Yeah. What's weird is he also overcomes his stage fright by dressing like a skydiver. 